G'day, I'm Bob from Paradise. Today we're going to talk about African violets. Um, what a great little plant they are and really easy to handle. They're famous. Just about everyone's grown them. Um, fantastic gifts for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. Free flowering and if you do it the right way, very easy um, for them to, to grow in your place indoors, keep them under cover and uh, they're just a, uh, a, a, a great little plant. They give you plenty of variation. There's so much colour variation. There's just thousands of varieties of them. They come from the St. Paulia genus and they're, they're uh, actually St. Paulia ionantha. So um, we've got a couple here. I'll just show you. These are some that have been grown on a little bit. They're beautiful flowers. And we'll show you how to get maximum flowering in a minute and how to keep them watered because here's another one here really nice flower but there's so many variations here you can get those um, you can get those white edges and you can get ruffled edges and you can get singles and doubles and there's some new new um, ones coming out here those flowers are nearly finished okay so they're um, provided you, you don't get them wet. Don't get their foliage wet at night is one of the main um, things. If you, you can overhead water them as long as the um, foliage dries out by the evening. Don't have wet foliage at night or you'll get mil uh, powdery mildew problems and, um, and also mites can be a problem. So, the, But the best way to water them is to underwater them and uh, we've got a system here to, to show you how to do that. Um, I'll just come zoom. This is these aren't these ones aren't um, set up to be pretty. This is just a like a local use. See how we've got a reservoir in there, and we've got a hole in the top. This is not probably not what you'd use. I'll show you something prettier in a moment. But the secret to success is this wick on the bottom. See that wick? That's just ordinary acrylic wool and you run that up into the pot and then just let that go down into the reservoir and the trick is to have your fertilizer in the reservoir put your fertilizer about a quarter strength in there and uh, you get fantastic African violets and you won't have any trouble they won't dry out when you go away because they'll be perfectly watered and um, they won't be over watered never have them sitting in water might, you might get away with it for a while in summer but it, you'll soon pay the price if you do that so you have them sitting above the water and you have a wick like that now to do in in practice you you would actually have that wick you might have it sitting in a glass or something ornate um, or you can have these ones that we're we're actually getting in and you can sit this is the size this is the size um, violet that we send out okay like that or a little bit smaller like that now you need to grow them on this one's okay to pot up into a 90 millimeter pot which is what I just showed you that's 90 millimeter but while you've got them in this size pot you can sit it in that there you can put your you can put your um, wool up into there and I'll show you how you can do that easily and but don't have the water, don't have it sitting in water. Alright, so I'll just take that out. I haven't actually got a bit of wool with me, but it, this hasn't, you can just get a piece of wool and just push it up there with a piece of wire, just get a piece of wire like that, just push it up into there. That's all you've got to do. Um, there's a, another way of doing it when you're potting up. When you're potting a plant up, put your piece of wool up into there. Put some some mix down into there, like like not quite that much like that. And then just run the wool around there like that. And then put your plant in and pot it up. So, so that's how you do that. And then just sit it in the in the reservoir. Now when you do pot it up, you can go into a bigger size pot, like a 90 millimeter, which is what these bigger ones are in. 
see and how they've got the wick coming out and you put it obviously in a bigger um, reservoir so um, we have these here we've got a batch in for sale um, they're very very ornate so you can sit the, the um, violet in there um, that one's for a for this size pot this that size pot is a little bit small for that but for a hundred millimeter pot it just sits in there like that this is actually an anthurium so this is fantastic for indoor plants and you have a water reservoir there it's quite an ornate pot that's an anthurium sitting in in one great for indoor indoor plants while well, you've got them in a four inch pot there's enough there's a fern maidenhair fern sitting in one what else have we got here's another some of you haven't seen it that's a microsorum phallax a beautiful fern gets quite big and that sits in there nicely or this is one we've got in our catalogue we've got both of these actually in our catalogue this is phlebodium aureum and that looks really nice in there too so but you can put your back to african violets oh wait a sec one more is another fern that's a marissa fern it doesn't like overhead watering looks um, good inside and you can put that in there as well it's got really fine foliage doesn't like overhead watering so that's a handy a handy thing you put your violets in there as well and we've also we've got the smaller one as well yep, the, when you use this wick system which is as I said great for African violets you'll get flowering just like I showed you like this great big lush leaves and plenty of flowers if you use a um, just put a quarter strength soluble fertilizer in there we've got one here it's an African violet food you can buy African violet, special African violet food but if you get anything that's that's a booster for um, flowers um, which is always reasonably high potassium but low nitrogen if you have high nitrogen it's going to concentrate on growing leaves and foliage and not worry so much about the flowers so you want a low nitrogen higher potassium but those you don't have to worry about that just get a just get a, a boost a plant um, flower booster and it'll have those ingredients in it already so um, that sort of overcomes a lot of problems if you use if you use that system of um, over watering them and the powdery mildew and mite problem that you would you can get otherwise um, as far as the potty mixes go um, a simple there's plenty of potty mixes they're pretty easy to grow but this is cocoa peat you can buy that in blocks any just um, at any of the um, hardware stores or um, nurseries you buy a hard block and you put it in water and it's called cocoa peat and it's that's quite good it gives put about just 10 percent perlite add to it and you if you've got charcoal you can put a bit of that into every all plants like charcoal but that's your basic ingredient with just a little bit more perlite or something else for a bit more um, drainage and uh, it's good stuff and uh, you can't go wrong um, I think we've just about covered what we wanted to say we covered uh, multiplication um, if you want to try multiplying they're really easy just you can take a leaf just take a leaf cutting there is one one thing and just poke it in a, a tray with that cocoa peat mix will be fine just poke it into about there and have it and have it sticking out just keep it just moist with um, being careful how you water and don't have the foliage wet at night um, another way is just to cut the leaf off and dangle the leaf dangle the leaf say in something like that just hold it up with a bit of wire and so the the stem is under just under water by well, four, four centimeters something like that and it'll soon grow roots in two or three weeks and then you can pot that up into a into a small pot um, so and the other way is to divide them as they get older so that's um, how you multiply them so anyway have a look at them have fun with them and remember you can do it and uh, and um, just in, enjoy your African violets Thank you.